Hi, I'm Angela Hirons and I'm reading from my translation of Simona Schabert's Rosa in Grau, uh, published by Vorland und Fist. I walk, walk through all times, walk in the now, walk in tomorrow, walk in yesterday, walk at the edge, there especially, walk ahead of the silence, walk behind it, walk into it, into the silence. Beside me the forest close, dark land, the street empty, a dull strip, hardly discernible, a hunch, my steps clearly audible, my soles on firmly trodden gravel, a soft grinding, a gnawing sound, I stand still. Beside me, around one, two, three metres away, a brown hair, his little head, the ears pricked up, curious. I follow his gaze, stir into the white, into this sphere, on the ascent, look for the golden stars above us, resplendent. Keep looking for them, can't find them, even as a child so far away, and lower my gaze into the white again. Hope that it contains me, that the moon abides with me, right now on this night, when all are laying down to sleep, the brothers, the restless, the unstable. But not me or the brown her. And he makes a sudden dart, thumps his hind legs, cuts through the now, voices his fright, disappears into the dark. And then I too hear the noise, can't place it at first, have only a vague memory of it, if at all, no image. And then I smell them, wild boar, three, four in number, the soupy aroma, unmistakable now, the snorting, a grunt, sounds only just reaching above ground. Now I smell my sweat, open my eyes wide, hardly see at all, hear all the more, every sound amplified. I stand rooted to the spot, don't move, don't know why. And then the scent draws ever closer, a spreading. And whether their aggression is down to their young, I wonder. Question two, the season I'm walking in, in my coat too wide. It might well be spring, maybe. And now they're even closer. And so I run, I start running. My soles hit hard against the dark. I don't know the last time I ran or why. Now I run, try to outrun my fear, to flee the now want to hear nothing, smell nothing, not this pungent scent of boar in my nostrils, the snorting in my ear, as if my body's already offered itself up to them, as if they might rip open my insides with their black muzzles, rummage about inside me on a whim, and I run even faster, want to be rid of them, but I can't get them out of range, the dark forest looms at my side, ghost mountains, everything's in motion, even the moon bobs up and down as if taking pure glee in this spectacle. And I have no idea how fast a wild boar can be, how long my breath can last, how long you can drive cold air into your own body, hoping the air escapes in gasps without getting a stitch in the chest. But it's already there, the monotonous pain, first on the left, bringing colour into my pace, lurid red, then on the right, bright orange, boldly painted. Then throbbing, the heart too. This abandoned place, wasteland, wheezing edge of nowhere. But that doesn't matter now. And I'm glad the coat is so large, the skirt cut so loose. But it's useless. I won't be rid of them. Not their scent, nor their grunting. Even after they've long disappeared. From the outside, Rosa now clings on to me suddenly. A limpet she is. She clutches my hand firmly, but I keep running. Rosa's feet almost drag along the floor. She can barely keep up. I don't care. I just pull her along with me. And again, she's so silent. And all around, it's so silent suddenly. I stand still, panting. The wild boars can't be heard anymore. Their scent has disappeared. I bend forwards, place my hands on my hips. Inhale deeply to calm down. I count. Breathe in for three. Breathe out for six. Over and again I count to three. Count to six. With a quiet, firm voice. Along the street. Past the forest. 
I don't know where I am. I ran mindlessly. I dragged my child along behind me and lost her somewhere. That's what must have happened. And how can that happen, I wonder? You can't simply lose your child on a public street. Rosa has to be somewhere. Counting is no use now. I want her back, right now, I want her at my side, holding my hand. I want to take her in my arms, smell her, feel her, hear her voice. But I only hear my own and how it calls her name. First faintly as if she's sitting next to me or at the kitchen table, as if she only has to take a couple of steps to reach me. But that's not the case. It's dark, I'm alone. Only my voice marks my presence and it gets stronger. I'm shouting now, straining my vocal cords, listening to how the forest swallows my cries, one after the other, the greedy dark. Nothing can be done. Rosa is gone. I've lost her. And I don't know where I am anymore. Barely know who I am.